Do you ever wish that you could go rewind or fast forward to high school health class to get a refresher on how your body works and what it needs to function best? Or do you feel like your health classes missed important topics, like truly teaching you about the impact of hormones and reproductive health? Well, now is the time to dive back in together with a twist. We have many different hormones that are important for our body's essential functions. Your thyroid controls your metabolism, energy levels, and many other of the essential functions of the body. You may have heard the terms TSH, free T4, free T3. These are a few of the many hormones that the thyroid excretes. It also plays a big role in regulating reproductive hormones like testosterone and progesterone, to name a few. Your pancreas produces insulin, which helps your body take in glucose or sugar into cells to be used for energy. This is an essential hormone for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. Our bodies produce many other hormones as well, like melatonin that helps us sleep, ghrelin and leptin for hunger and fullness cues. The list goes on. Now let's dive a bit deeper into those reproductive hormones. First of all, adequate testosterone is important for both men and women, although levels are much higher in men. Adequate levels are responsible for supporting bone strength, muscle mass, libido, sperm production in men and ovarian function in women, and mood and cognition. The bodies of men and women both produce estrogen as well, although levels are naturally lower in men and fluctuate for women throughout each menstrual cycle. Weight gain and stress are two factors that can contribute to abnormally high levels of estrogen in both men and women. Normal levels of estrogen support the body in many of the same ways that testosterone does. When estrogen levels are too low for women, many times due to inadequate body fat, this can lead to disappearance of a menstrual cycle, signaling that there's a little problem in the body. When estrogen levels are too high, this can lead to irregular cycles for women and infertility in both men and women. Lastly, progesterone. Progesterone is a hormone essential for a healthy female cycle, and men do have a small amount of it. Without enough progesterone, women are more likely to experience PMS symptoms and difficulty conceiving or maintaining a pregnancy. So, What's important to remember out of all of this hormone terminology? Our body is an interconnected system, which acts in feedback loops. When something is chronically out of balance, such as too much stress, too little sleep, or under eating, you may experience a cascade effect in multiple facets of your well being. Work with your coach to consistently layer one habit at a time, and your hormones will likely follow suit.